forward. Okay, now we're going to look at our two new cases. What happens if we have an angle that is in the circle, but it's not at the center? Okay, I kind of call this a nomadic angle. It's, it's wandering somewhere in the circle and it's not in the center. So we can't use that, the central angle one from up here at the top. We can't use that one. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the angles that are inside the circle. The angle measure is the average of the measure of the intercepted arcs by the angle and its vertical angles. Okay, oh, and that sounds kind of confusing, doesn't it? Okay, well not really once we get it drawn. Okay, let's say we're looking for this angle right here. Okay, all we have to do is look at kind of the arc up here and the arc down here. I kind of think of it as a bow tie, so I'm going to turn this for a second and kind of look at it as a bow tie rule. Okay, if this is your bow tie, we know that these two angles are congruent because they're vertical angles. So what arcs do they intercept? This arc and this arc. So you got arc 1 and arc 2. So what the rule says is we're going to average them. That means add and divide by 2. So we're going to take arc 1 plus arc 2 and we're going to divide it by 2 and that's going to equal the measure of the angle okay in the center so let's throw some numbers up there so you can kind of see how this works let's say that the angle up here is a hundred and the angle down here is 120 okay to find this angle in the middle or these two angles I'm going to just take 100 plus 120 and divide them by 2 so the sum of those is 220 and 220 divided by 2 is 110. So that means each one of these angles measures 110. It's the average of those. Okay, now remember, we're going to have to do another step here at some point, not necessarily yet, but I just wanted to preface this. What do we know about these angles? Well, if this one is 110 and we have a straight line here, aren't these two supplementary? So if this is 110, I can subtract it from 180 and get this side. So this side would be 70 and we know these are vertical so that side would be 70. So anyway, just to preface that before we go on because you're going to be solving some of those. But the main concept here is to find these angles, you add and divide by 2. Okay, 